Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your very first video in the new series that I'm actually putting together. So, I'm actually pretty excited about this, but I honestly don't know how it's actually going to work. I've never done this before. I've been more of like the creative type, you know what I mean? Like I'll take something from that particular day and I'll, I'll make a video based upon what I've learned and what I've gone through that particular day. Um, so this is slightly different, right? I mean, this is literally something that I put together last week, Friday, and I'm only just broadcasting it today. And I'm actually going to be broadcasting essentially over the next uh, seven days if everything goes as planned. Um, more, and, and this week, the theme for this week is social media, media marketing success. And today I wanted to talk about how to go about doing that with Facebook and Instagram pictures, right? Because pictures are seemingly uh, rather successful with, with the online marketing world, but how successful is it really? So let's talk about Facebook first, right? So when it comes to using uh, images with Facebook, uh, there, is a, there is a specific method that you, do, that you do need to use. You see, pictures are actually the least out of the three different things in terms of your reach. So it's the lowest percentage that's actually put out there by Facebook, but Obviously, if it's a great image and a lot of people like it and comment, the more people that are going to get it, just like any other uh, media in this particular platform. So, how, well, how do you apply the, uh, the the picture thing when it comes to Facebook in particular? With Facebook, uh, Facebook is a, is a very sociable place, right? I mean, they're all sociable in their own way, but I say that Facebook is the most, especially when you compare it to like Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube, right? A lot of Facebook is friends and family, and for certain people like myself and, and others, um, it is a lot more business uh, oriented. So with Facebook, how do you apply the, the pictures thing, right? So from what I've seen and everything that I've learned and experienced, I believe that wholesome pictures are the most successful thing with Facebook. And so when I say wholesome, I'm talking about like picture pictures about what you're doing personally with your life. Like for example, I'll, I'll post pictures of me going and working out, for example, or going to basketball, right? These are very personal things that people actually attach to. Um, something that I've seen very successful is, is the family life per se. You know, like posting pictures about family, uh, even even animals per se. Like they, they get high engagement because people can relate to that sort of stuff. So that's what I would suggest be the route that you go down with your Facebook thing. Now, in terms of pictures, right? People share whatever they want with their with their profile. And I'm, and I'm huge on, uh, hang on, sorry, just a second here, guys. <clears throat> And I'm, and I'm huge when it comes to like being yourself, you know, being the true authentic you because they're the kind of people that you want to attract to do business with, right? Unless obviously you've got a lot of things that you need to work on, then you need to be the person that you aspire to being. So in terms of like sharing certain things, uh, I see a lot of negativity that's being shared out there uh, on Facebook. And, and yes, it's a very common thing. A lot of people do it. We see it on all social media platforms. And, and essentially like it's what people think they're actually putting out there, which sometimes is a pretty scary thought. Before you post something, let me ask you this. Make sure you ask yourself, if, I, if someone came across your profile, you ask yourself and be, be brutally honest, is this the kind of person that I would do business with, right? So for example, when people add me on Facebook, I go and check out their, their profiles. And if, and if all I see is this bullshit like hot chicks like posting naked pictures, or, or if I see like muscly guys and all they're, all they're doing is posting pictures of them completely ripped, right? And all they're talking about is, hey, buy, buy my ebook at $7 or 50% off or whatever. If, if that's all I see, I, I actually don't accept them, right? Um, whereas if I see people that are putting, posting like motivational quotes, they're writing on value posts or they're, they're posting stuff about their friends and their families, then yes, I, I, will, I will accept that, that uh, friends request that comes through. And that's because there are only certain people that I want in my life. There's only certain people that I want to work with, okay? So that's how you go about applying pictures to Facebook. With Instagram, it's a completely different ballgame. With Instagram, pictures are literally everything. Like the, uh, the reach on Instagram is 80% higher than it is on Facebook, right? And the comments are, uh, are 10 times more engaging. Uh, there's 63% more reach in Twitter. So <clears throat> Instagram is a different beast from Facebook. So what do you do there? There's a couple of tips that I really want you to focus on, and that is the quality of the image and the message in which you're putting out there. So there are other things that are important, but we'll talk about that later on in, in, in this series, right? Again, this is video one of probably six or seven, depending on, on how much information I, I decide to end up giving to you. So with, with uh, Instagram, sharing high quality images is a very, very big thing, right? The, the higher quality of the image, the more likely you are, you are going to get the like, and the, high, 
the, the quicker and more engaging your image is, the further your reach, right? So like just using simple hashtags will honestly get you for like three or four times ahead of the Facebook reach. For example, what I mean by this is like, for every image that I share on Facebook, I'll get like anywhere between like five and 15 likes. Once in a while, I'll get between 20 and 25. On Instagram, it's like 10 times that, right? I'll get anywhere from like 50 to 70 likes and on a good day, you know, 100 plus likes. You know, a lot more engagements and, and so on and so forth. So again, it's a different ball game and you gotta, you gotta attack that particular market differently. And again, so how do you, how do you apply that? High quality images, a positive message, right? And make sure you use some relevant hashtags to the market that you want to attract, all right? So look, that's the end for, for day one and video one. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is day, uh, we're gonna do this all week where we're gonna be talking about social media marketing success using different, platform, uh, different platforms and different medias, all right? So that by the end of the week, you're gonna actually feel quite uh, educated with what to do on, on which platform particularly with Facebook and Instagram because that's my focus and that's what I know how to do. All right, so that's what I want to impart to you. All right, so make sure you check back tomorrow. We're going to be talking about text tomorrow and how to apply that with your Facebook and Instagram marketing. Take care, much love. I'll see you all again then.